Hey, it's Allison. I've been a math teacher for about 15 years now, and today we're going to talk about linear equations. Linear equations are equations of lines, and they look something like this. y equals 3x minus 4. That would be an example of a linear equation. Now, there's a couple of things in this equation that are going to change, the x and the y. Their values change or vary, so they're called variables. X is the independent variable, and Y is the dependent variable. Now, I can tell this is a linear equation just by looking at it, and here's how. The independent variable, the X, is only there in the power of 1. I, it says X, but you know X is really just the same as X to the power of 1. We just leave the 1 off. If there was an X squared term in here, or an X cubed term, or any power of X higher than the power of 1, this wouldn't be a linear equation. So anytime you see an equation that has the independent variable in only the power of 1, you know it's a linear equation, the equation of a line. Whenever you graph an equation like this, it will be a line, and it'll slope to the left or to the right, and it'll intersect the axes at different points depending on the values, but they're all equations of lines. There's a lot you can do with linear equations, and we're going to talk about this further. That's an introduction to linear equations. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like more information on any of the topics, click on the links below. And be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe to our channel. If you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.